Hey, hey, hey everybody, it's your girl Z here coming to bring you guys another value video. This video you definitely don't want to miss, okay? So if you're somebody who uses social media um, to generate interest in your business or your brand, you definitely know the importance of having to keep that list fresh, to constantly change it out, to make sure you're dealing with engaged people, people who are active in the audience. I'm going to show you guys an amazing tool today that's going to allow you to do a lot of different things at once and it's going to help you to keep your audience fresh, engaged and always have a flow of leads being generated to your business okay so you definitely don't want to miss that before we do that you want to definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already also hit the bell beside it so you'll get notified when I post new videos okay and on this channel you're gonna find all about online marketing strategies tips and tools you can use to start making money from your laptop and your cell phone today all right guys so let's go ahead and jump into it I'm gonna share my screen all right guys so i have my screen shared and the name of this tool is multiple tools for facebook okay so um you know it's created by this person here in my dot uh in my dot com or whatever so you want to make sure you're clicking on the right one multiple tools for facebook um the extension ends up looking like this little blue tool here uh yeah there it is multiple tools for facebook by lock my or lock me so um that's that's the one you want to make sure you download it is a chrome extension so it will be like you know housed over here in your extensions all right so this is what it looks like um i went ahead and got it uh onto my dashboard and basically it has all of my my facebook information my followers my friends how many groups i'm in um most comments post uh uh post most likes post uh total posts um different posts that got a, a lot of reactions whether it be comments or likes or whatever um and this is really important if you're if you're trying to figure out you know content ideas and maybe you're trying to figure out things haven't been working as well so you can go back to some of these and kind of check and see what it is um kind of curious as to which one this one was since we're in here might as well take a look right Ta-da, this was the winning post, okay? And this right here is a really neat and nifty strategy if you're trying to cleanse your friends list, okay? Like I said, you're gonna have to cleanse your friends list throughout the process because you'll have you know, inactive friends, you'll have a lot of tire kickers, looky loos, people that you've gone through, so you wanna constantly be refreshing your list to have new eyeballs and new interest um, on your content. All right, so um, that's one little strategy that you can use. But the main thing that I use this for is the friends remover. OK, so you have the ability to use the friends remover tool by just doing a mass removal, which I totally don't recommend. I don't recommend doing a mass removal because you'll just basically tip off the algorithm and Facebook's going to be like, hey, what's this person doing? And they're using a tool to do it. So they may say that it's a. Uh, spam activity so when you're using these tools you want to use them responsibly so that you can get the maximum benefit out of it without getting yourself blocked or or something like that so um uh instead of doing the mass friends remover tool which you have that option to do it where you just click on a bunch of people and get rid of them i go by the interaction scanner this is also another um industry secret like you want to make sure that people that are inside of your friends list are actually active engaging or uh prospects okay so like if they're not engaging they're not interested in your product or service they're not even on facebook enough for you to um uh you know reach out to them then you know you can go by the interaction so i can look here um and see the people that i've had like zero interaction with or when's the last time we spoke okay so this person right here that wasn't too long ago that was may um, but some of these people here with like zero 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 um, it's really easy for me to just kind of go through and, you know, click on the ones that I want to get rid of. Um, uh, let's see. I don't know if I want to do too many people right now, but I'm just going to click on two so you can get the idea of how you can go through here and do that. Um, and then I'm just going to click on bye bye. Bye bye. That's a nice way of putting it. It's going to ask me, am I sure? Yes, I'm completely sure. Unfriend those guys. All right. So um, it's just that simple. And then, of course, if there was nobody I wanted to get rid of on this list, um, there we go. We're done. Then I could just move on and it's going to keep going down the list. And so 
Um, I like to do this, you know, when I when it is time for me to start uh, removing friends or refreshing my friends list, I'll say, um, you know, I like to do it that way. You know, there's a strategy to it. I'm not just massively, massively removing people. Um, let's see some other tools uh, you got here. Um, let's see. All right, so we see we, we talked about the uh, friends remover tool, but we can also talk about let's just click on the uh, friend requests. All right, so um, I get a lot of friend requests. Now, me personally, I check each and every person um, out, so I don't like doing mass friend uh, acceptance either. So sometimes it takes me a while, but if you are somebody that wants to do this, um, you could just click on everybody and then accept everybody all at once. All right. Um, so let's see, you've got group scanner so that you can kind of see, you know, what groups your friends are in that they're in. So you can kind of be in, you know, groups that are like mine people where you can uh, pitch your product or your service, um, pages scanner. Um, you can see what pages people like. I don't use all this stuff guys. You know, it, it is here. If you want to use it, me personally, I just use it for the, the, uh, interaction scanner and the friends removal. Um, that's about it. Um, now I will say you can use this and download this for free. That is important to know. Um, but you get a couple more features if you donate. So it's donation basis and it starts at like five bucks a month. So if that's something you were interested in, you really liked it, you wanted to use more features, you would just simply click on the donate. It would take you to, uh, PayPal to pay the, uh, creator of this, uh, this extension and this tool. So that's about it, guys. I mean, you got quite a, a bit of things you can do with this here. It's great to, to be a, friend remover tool. Um, and you know, like I said, it's just another one of these tools you can put in the toolbox to increase your skills and, and help you to level up in your business, um, and how you online market. All right, guys. So that is the, that is the end of this video. If you guys have any questions about anything, any comments or concerns about anything, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is in the, uh, description. I'm going to flip over here one more time. Um, so you guys know that this is a Chrome extension. Um, so I won't actually have a link down in the description, but you can just, you know, type in multiple tools for Facebook. Um, the extension looks like this and you, uh, you know, it'll be something that looks like this. All right, guys. Until the next video. Peace.